Hello and welcome friends, Frenzy here bringing you more KSP mod overview. Today we're looking at FASA. FASA is pretty much what sounds. NASA parts, not surprisingly. Um, here I'm just kind of looking at some of the various other mods that I have assigned here, but I'm going to go ahead and dive into the manufacturer's table so you can kind of just look at the FASA parts um, that I'm looking at today. So you see a lot of cool things, not surprising, a lot of realistic engines. So you'll see J2 engines, you'll see the F1 engines a little bit later. Um, cool Apollo things that I'm kind of digging into here a little bit as well. You see the really cool launch towers that FASA has, that brings with them. Um, Apollo floats, so when you land in the water, pretty cool thing. Apollo launch system, I'm just kind of toying around here. Um, you see the LEM related things. So there's a ton of parts in FASA. So it can be a memory hog, certainly, if, if you're using a lot of these parts with other mods as well, in particular. But tons of realistic and cool looking mods, uh, or parts, I should say, rather, for this mod. Um, you see the Gemini wings, which is something that's, again, was never actually used. So some of the FASA parts um, take NASA parts that were in prototype or being developed or you know, theorized, and they can actually make them, which is a really cool thing, too with this mod. Um, you'll see here what I kind of built this rocket. It's essentially a very unrealistic looking Gemini rocket. Um, just because I want to have a little bit of fun with it. But it is very tricked out. It has two, those two huge SRBs slapped on the side, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll just go ahead and jump into the launch. You'll notice I have absolutely no thrust in my rocket starting off. Now I just kind of slowly throttle up because those SRBs, they are powerful. And one of the cool things about these these SRBs that I really love is they're actually gimbaled. So the engines on them are gimbaled. So you, it makes turning, particularly you know, getting to that gravity turn early on, um, much, much easier. It gives you much greater control, uh, you know, vector. And you'll see kind of the odd shine on the uh, Gemini parts, too. So it looks pretty cool, too. One of the different things about FASA is it does have that really cool-looking kind of feel to it. Um, so what I'll probably do is just kind of fast forward and cut through through this a little bit just to kind of show you these parts in action. Um, so again, you get to have a lot of fun. You get to make your own NASA-inspired creations. If you are a NASA fanboy, as I am, uh, this is definitely a pack you should, should look into if you really enjoyed making those realistic rockets. If you just want a lot more parts to play around with, those are always fun too always beautiful SRB separation there. Always want to see that. And we're in orbit, appearing to head to the moon. So again, one of the cool things here is you can reenact things and change history. The Gemini pod, Gemini rockets never actually went to the moon, but because I beefed it up quite a bit, we are actually going to be going to the moon in the Gemini pod, in the Gemini, using the Gemini rocket. So this takes a little bit of time. You'll see me here, preparing to land on the moon the Gem using the Gemini rocket. So that's cool. We'll just kind of speed through this. I love these lander legs too. They're very, very wide. I had to kind of tinker with them to get them to fit properly, but they're, it's very nice. Makes landing cinch. And we're there. Alrighty. So now we're gonna get to what you probably really want to see, the Apollo rockets. And the sounds on this thing are amazing. If you just jack the sound up on this, um, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful sounding thing. And one thing I will say too about these rockets, and some of this could be, because a lot of these parts end up getting used in the real solar system as well, if you're a big fan of that. So obviously you can get a lot more power from real solar system. And when you have FAR added on, as I do in this, uh, it's... <laughs> It makes these rockets pretty overpowered. Um, I think for this, and you may not get to see it because I'm just kind of showcasing the rocket a little bit. Um, I want to keep these videos somewhere close to five minutes. So hopefully we'll get a chance to do that. But um, it does make these rockets very overpowered getting through the atmosphere with fire on. But that's okay. Not an issue too much. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully now you can kind of know what FAST is about, see if you want to install it or not. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, subscribe, offer suggestions about what other mods you would like to see. I'm more than happy to take suggestions on that matter. 
and good luck, and I will see you guys next time.